Hey guys, it's Mara. So today I wanted to show you I got my new glasses. Um, I got a really cute case. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone. <laughs> um, they had these little purple cases. I thought they were adorable. It's kind of like, what, patchwork? Sorry, it's really windy outside. Um, so there's what it looks like. I'm going to open them up. Now, so the whole story spiel... I went to the eye doctor because I got vision insurance again this year and so I wanted to get another pair of glasses. I switched vision insurance because otherwise you can only get glasses every two years instead of every year. Um, so anyway, I decided to try out a new doctor in town. The other one, he was okay. I didn't think like he was like great or anything. So I was like, well, I'll just try out a different one since I've changed insurances. I could have gone to him again, but I decided not to. So I went to this place. Um, I made my appointment. I got in within like a week and I went in and they took my glasses, you know, to see what uh, prescription they currently were. And then when they went to go check my eyes, the little uh, vision machine that kind of does, you look in the distance and it sees how your eyes focus and everything, said that I was actually um, nearsighted. No, far, okay that I had issues seeing close up and I always thought I had issues seeing far away because things were blurry far off. So, and that's what my glasses were when I went to the other place. They had made them so it was easier to see far off. And so like I can see pretty good at distances but I noticed that like my further distances started getting blurry. So that's why I went last year to begin with. Well this time I came in and then they said that I was actually uh, far-sighted and had trouble seeing close up and I was like oh okay well I am in front of a computer a lot and stuff like that so they said I didn't actually need one or need glasses one of my eyes is like um, 0.25 and the other is like 0.50 I think and then my right eye also has astigmatism so the worst eye has astigmatism but anyway here's my glasses I already dropped them at least it was on the carpet that's okay in the inside of the doctor's office. Oops, sorry. Eee. But anyway, um, they are, what brand are they? I forgot. It was kind of like a cheaper brand, not like super cheap or anything. Um, cause the friends were like, uh, 150 and that's what my allowance was. Um, and then, so you can see the inside's blue and then it kind of has that tortoise shell and it has little stars on the side. Anyway, I thought it was cute. Okay. Let me put my phone down. So I can put them on. I think they're kind of nerdy. Oh, disregard like all that's going on right now. I think they're pretty cute. Um, she bent them a little bit because, like, I don't know if it's my because of my nose, my little bump. Um, I have like, or because one of my eyebrows is like lower than the other, but um. At first, it was kind of like one started in my eyebrow and one was like below my eyebrow. But I really like them. I like the like the brown look and then the blue on the inside. You can see the blue there a little bit. But yeah, there's my new glasses for reading and stuff. Um, they don't make my nose look huge. I mean, kind of big, but that's just my nose, so whatever. <laughs> I didn't want any that like made it like even like bigger, bigger. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Look at this hair. Ooh. Hey, guys, it's Mara. So I wanted to check back in. Today, I actually drove around a little bit. Um, not with my glasses, because apparently I can't, it, like, things are kind of blurry far off. So just for, like, reading and stuff. But I went by the grocery store. I got some strawberries, because last night I just... Wanted something sweet, and I made an angel food cake, and Marin's like, you can't have angel food cake without strawberries. So, angel food cake's in the refrigerator, and then I bought the strawberries. I'm going to add sugar to them, make, like, the syrup and everything. I think it'll taste really good. And then I was checking out, I found a house for sale. Um, last night when we were eating with Marin's parents because they're visiting and they're going to move out here. So I'm kind of looking at some houses in the area and I found one. It was kind of, 
Well, first of all, I got lost, and because Google Maps around here is not very good, the address number, um, apparently the street, like, stops and starts in, like, two different towns, um, and, like, I don't know, it, like, starts and then starts down here, and then, anyway, it was difficult to find, but then I finally found it, it looks really cool. And then I went to the library because I had an 80 cent fine, one of my books I didn't bring back, um, obviously on time. And so I got a couple of really cool books I want to show you guys. So I got this cool little bookmark. It's like I Spy, but it's called Do We See It? Ha ha ha. Looks funny. Okay. The sun is like, woo. So this one is the book that I had first put, uh, reserved and then I forgot to come by the library and pick it up. But it is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. So if you guys don't know the story about this, um, Google it. Basically, they, she had, I think she had some kind of cancer. They used her cell, they were called HeLa cells for Henrietta Lacks. Um, and they used that for research forever. Without, and then her family found out like 20 years later after they'd been using it without like because she died and they used it pretty much without anybody's consent um yeah so like medical ethics things and then this book i got the mayo clinic book of alternative medicine so like so it's by mayo clinic so it's not gonna be like super alternative um medicine but it does have um like i just kind of wanted to look at it um it has like what the normal um treatment is and then it has some of the alternative um options for just all sorts of um conditions so i think i either got this book or looked at it before but i always get books and i'm like excited about them and then i forget to read them and have to return them so sometimes i get them more than once um next book which is really cool this is a the everything which i guess is a series of books but this is a gluten-free um slow cooker cookbook so, they always have a lot of slow cooker recipes, and a lot of them aren't gluten-free, um, like on Pinterest and stuff like that. But unless you, like, know what to look for, um, then it's not very helpful. I mean, you can search gluten-free slow cooker recipes, but I like this is all together in a book. So, I have my little recipe book, um, like, binder that Rebecca got me for my birthday um, a few years back. So, any of them that I really like or want to try out after I have to, you know, when I have to return this book, then I'll just write them down in my book and try them out. So I have a copy with me. And this one is called Wedding Licious, The Unfiltered Guide to Being a Bride. Um, which I was just reading a little bit through this, and it is so funny. Like, there's a lot of cussing in here and just, like, just, like, keeping it real, you know? So, I thought this was a really cute book. And this one's a new one. You. And then my other new book, which I am even probably the most excited about, is my um, The Faux Cookbook. It says, or Fa, I guess, The Fa Cookbook. Um, easy to adventure recipes for Viet Vietnam's favorite soup and noodles. So, they have all different kind of recipes. Um, like Chicken Fa, which Marin likes. Seafood Fa. Um vegetarian like all the herbs and stuff you need because I tried to make it one time and it was not good <laughs> but I, didn't, I don't know if I really had a recipe or not anyway so that's all the stuff I got I'm gonna head home make my little strawberry um angel food cake deal and then make something for dinner probably too unless we just want to eat angel food cake and strawberries for dinner Super nutritious, I know, but I did have to use 12 egg whites to make this angel food cake. It's literally egg whites and sugar. I mean, a little bit of flour, but that's pretty much it. So, anyway, my new glasses. They're a little dirty, got some fuzzies on them, but oh well. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.